All right, this is second grade module six, lesson 12. And in this lesson, it's kind of an interesting one. There's not really a lot of math, not really a lot of vocabulary. In this lesson, we're really going to take a, a moment to allow our students to learn how to draw uh, the rectangles using square tiles. So as I hold up a circle, so uh, using square tiles. The idea is that in the previous lessons, we've been using manipulatives. Uh, teddy bears, color tiles, coins. Now, as a step towards the abstract, we're going to have students drawing the pictures. So we're moving from concrete to pictorial, and then eventually we're going to go to abstract uh, in third and fourth grade. Uh, so this lesson begins the process of moving from the concrete into the pictorial representation. So let's get started. The actual, the previous, this happens to be question three. So in problems one and two, students had cut out a square and were in the process of tracing that square. And now in this problem, they're actually given one representative square, and then they're supposed to draw the remainder of that array. So this says four rows of five. So I'm going to use my blue pen and we know that we've been given one, and we want five in this row. So I need there, 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 and I'm trying to make everything the same. So parents and teachers, don't freak out if your students' um, squares don't work out, because, hey, I'm a mathematician and my squares didn't work out, and that's perfectly fine. So that's one row of five, and then we're going to add, now what we want students to experience is this concept of building the squares, and so that when we're talking about the number of squares in a particular array, they have this visceral experience because they've been drawing the squares, and so they, they know what it is, and what, what it means to be a square inside the array. And so that's two rows of five and we're going to continue and what we want them to see is maybe that that first square here needs three sides but then all the remainder squares in that row only need two sides drawn that's kind of a cool thing to notice and again I'm starting a new row so I'm going to use three sides and why do I only need three sides well because that top side was already taken care of that kind of a thing. So you can have your students engage in a nice, wonderful conversation as they build what I would anticipate to be some pretty comical uh, rectangles and arrays. So there you go. Now the question doesn't ask, but go ahead and say, hey, what is our repeated addition? And we could say, well, there's four rows of five. So there's five here, five here, five here, and five here. So our repeated addition would be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 20. But of course, don't forget that your students who are looking at the columns could say it's 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 20. Your students have a choice. And that wraps up a really nice simple one where we're really focusing on the drawings as we move from the concrete to the pictorial representation. Uh, this was lesson 12 of second grade module six.